Just, if it happens again, have a word with Melanie and see if it needs checking out. Well, you sure hung up that phone fast. You got somewhere to be, dude. And I think I know you. Look at me. Look at me! No, I'm just kidding. I am betting I... Oh, bathrooms. Well, I'm a lady, so I go in here. <laughs> Guess somebody's in there. I still don't understand why these are in here. Is that the GameCube symbol? <laughs> it <laughs> looks like the GameCube symbol to me. I guess that's not the exit. It's saying the exit's downstairs. That's just bathrooms. Alright, I remember one of these rooms. Wait. Oh shit, I can hack these. Okay, cool. Let's do it. Excuse me. I have no idea what I'm doing. Don't even ask. Just weaving in and out. Am I? I'm just going into infinity right now. <laughs> okay, let's go back up. Oh, so close. Aha, I did it! Let's see what we got here. We got chat archive. Everybody's working on the weekend. Oh, that sucks. Olivier, I need you guys. I need your guys to get me everything on the observatory by the end of Friday at the latest. Can you do it? Mel. No, are you crazy? We don't even know where it is yet. And Friday's a holiday. Olivier, a holiday? Really? Do your, pe do your people realize that working here is a privilege? If they care about their jobs, they'll come in and it will be an honor. And no, I'm not crazy. I'm getting a lot of heat from Letitia. If we don't get it done, she'll take it out on devils. Oh, weird. And all our work will be lost. Is that a last name, devils? If so, that's extremely unfortunate. Mel, ugh, does she even know how anything works here? Olivier, she has her own pressures. Mel, I realize that, but we're already working overtime. And when we are going to discuss... When are we going to discuss how the plot of Devils has... How the plot of Devils has to change to accommodate this observatory business? Blah, 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 blah. How am I going to sell this? Oh, Devils. Devils on the Caribbean. Okay. I, okay, I get it now. Olivier, you're not going to. It's too sensitive. Mel, so we're just collecting the memories for no reason? Olivier, not for no reason. Letitia will use them. Mel, this is ridiculous. You want us to devote our lives to finding information we're not allowed to develop or understand or use in any way. It won't help sales and my people will never see their work rewarded in public. How am I supposed to motivate them? Olivier, I don't know. Get them breakfast. Pen au chocolat. <laughs> coffee. Pretend to sneak in some coffee liquor. Liqueur. A little beer with lunch. Feed them. They'll forgive you. Like dogs. <laughs> nice, Olivier. Mel, again? They're not going to keep falling for this. Olivier, yes they will. Bread and circuses. Look it up, it's a thing. Mel, come on, be serious. Olivier, I am being serious. Remember, none of this comes from me. Letitia needs what she needs. If you want the project to continue, we have to keep her happy. The observatory doesn't have anything to do with pirates anyway. It would only complicate things. Take the focus off the action. Mel, but it's fascinating. I realize it's more mature and complex. I can't believe I'm the one arguing this. But we are crazy not to use it. Mel, imagine. We could be selling to pirate fans and conspiracy theorists all at the same time. The potential for market growth is huge. Olivier, we cannot use it, so please stop asking. Mel, this is insane. Olivier, as you already know, Melanie, this company is a subsidiary of Abstergo Industries, and Abstergo Industries has a different culture. They are hierarchical. I always have trouble with that word. And <laughs> rule-driven. We may not always like it, but we want to advance in this company. We have to be careful. Mel, you're protecting her. Olivier, I'm protecting you. I know we have our arguments from time to time, but I know you care deeply about our work, and I don't want you to get yourself ejected from the conversation. We need you. Do you understand? Mel, yeah, I get it. Pick my battles. It's common sense. I don't know why this one thing is bothering me so much right now. I'm just tired. Olivier, so I don't need to find someone else to help me? Mel, no, we'll get it done, somehow. Olivier, I will personally bring the coffee liqueur for breakfast. Mel, lol, thanks. <laughs> I'll find some way to get them excited about it in the meantime. 
Olivier, if it makes you feel better, I can tell you a secret. Mel. What? Happy face. Olivier, if we are successful with the observatory, Abstergo may develop a Las Vegas attraction to accompany the release of Devils. Wow. What? What? <laughs> Olivier, they're looking into a partnership of those aquatic circus people you like. Imagine celebrating with the whole team at a live-action gladiator show. Assassins versus Templars versus Pirates versus Sharks. Mel. Whoa, I am in awe. How do you come up with this stuff? Olivier. Oh, I have all kinds of little things saved in files here and there. Pfft. I always think I'll get around to doing something with them in a quiet moment. Mel, but there are never quiet moments. Oh well, you'll retire someday. Olivier, not if I'm lucky. Mel, me neither. I feel like that whole Las Vegas attraction is just a way to shut her up. I don't know. Seems kind of far-fetched. But whatever. Interesting! Very interesting! I love hacking in this game and finding all this stuff. It makes me feel special. I'm very far away from my enemies, but I don't care. Ooh, sticky note. All right, we'll get this first. Sticky note 15. Then revolutions in America and France bled into evolutions and in, ended into more revolutions into Russia and Mexico and India, and the sickening list goes on as men and women fought and died for the right to be indolent and sick and pleasured. But she, may she guide us into the gray, has returned after a sleep of tens of thousands of millennia, and we submit to live and work at her side. We, the instruments of the first will. Creep me the fuck out, John. Okay, now we hack this. Another hacky globe of weirdness. Of teleportation and shit. Wow. Damn, so close. Son of a bitch. Not getting anywhere with that. I'm not getting anywhere with any of this! I'm stuck! I feel like I'm still not getting anywhere. <laughs> nope, got it. Okay. Wow, I'm spending so much time in present day, <laughs> but I don't want to stop. So, this will be a short one. Yeah. Oh, here we go again. Uh, something to remember me by if things go south. Oh, damn, Desmond. If I don't make it out of the temple today. Oh, you just hit me right in the feels, man. I've tried to be optimistic about all this, but I, uh, I just can't. I think spending all this time in Connor's memories has made me anxious. I mean, his story is so painful in so many ways. Mm-hmm. Still, he never lost hope. Even when his faith and others eroded, I can only believe that what we are doing is the right thing. And that I can stop this disaster. I know this. I mean, the technology is there, waiting for us to use it. I'm the final piece of the puzzle. Something in my genes, or my memories. Some final piece of code to switch the whole thing on. That's why I'm here. That's why they brought me here. Only, uh... I don't know what I'll have to give up in return. My sanity. My life. He saw it coming. It's, it's impossible to say. I do know this. Our battle with the Templars will not be over. But whatever's inside that temple is not an ending. It's just another chapter in this, this endless story. And it'll be your job. And Mom's. And, and Sean's. And Rebecca's. And Gavin's, and pages. Susan's, and Eric's. You know, I, I keep thinking about something Orson Welles once said. Something like, if you, if you want a happy ending, it all depends on where you stop telling your story. It's a good quote. So maybe, maybe that's the answer. Maybe that's how people keep marching forward. If something goes wrong and they're dead. Oh. Something happens to me. When you tell my story years from now, please tell them the one about how I lost my way and then I found it again. Just in time to save the world. And and just end it there. That'll keep everyone smiling. Bye, Dad. 
He saw it coming. Say hello to Mom. Tell her I love her, okay? Tell her I uh, love you both. <sighs> oh, man. Man, don't cry. You're gonna make me cry. Oh, God, I'm crying. I'm not crying. I'm not crying. Shut up. Don't look at me. <laughs> wow. He knew it was gonna happen. He was prepared for it. He walked in there knowing he was gonna die. Wow. I am not crying. Shut up! <laughs> oh my god. I'm not crying. I am gonna stop crying right now because now I just look like a big baby. <laughs> Oh my god, that was horrible. That hit me right in the feels. That completely shattered whatever was left of my heart. Oh my god. Ubisoft. Why do you do this to me? Oh, UB, why do you do this to me? Oh my god, I'm a wreck. Alright, I think I'm gonna stop hacking now because I'm completely losing it. I'm gonna go back in my enemies. You didn't get hacked, did you? We really should look into that security company from Chicago. They know what they're doing. Is that Bloom? The security thing from Chicago? Is that who you're talking about? Well, either way. I need to unstiff on my- I wish I should have brought some Kleenex, fuck. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. I'm really sad right now. That was so fucking sad! Unbelievable! He walked in there knowing he was gonna die, and he secretly said goodbye to his parents. And see, Desmond understood Connor's predicament, and he doesn't think Connor's an asshole. So fuck all of you who think Connor's an asshole. Hi. Don't mind the red face and the puffy eyes. I've just... I just yawned. Alright, I'm retreating back into my enemies. It's all good. Okay. Thank you for the reassuring words, Animus. <laughs> I'm sitting here crying and the game's like, it's all good. Oh, wow. Great Inagua. 1722. Atabai and Adewale, hello. Gentlemen, how do you find it here? It will work for us. Good. But our goal must be to scatter our operations. To live and work among the people we protect. Just as Altairi Ben Lahad once counseled. Well, until that time, it's yours as you see fit. Edward, Captain Woods Rogers survived his wounds. He has since returned to England. Oh, shit, I didn't kill him. Threat, but no less a threat. I will finish that job when I return. You have my word. All right, thank you. I was confused about that because he lived past the date I killed him at. Like, he survived to go back to England, I'm pretty sure. Evening, Anne. And I was like, but I didn't kill him. Edward? Hi. <laughs> I'll be sailing for London in the next few months. I'd be a hopeful man if you were beside me. <laughs> England's the wrong way around the globe for an Irish woman. So? Will you stay with the assassins? No, I haven't got that kind of conviction in my heart. You? Oh, yes. In time, I. My mind is settled in my blood. What did that letter from Caroline say? Coming into the cove. Who's coming into the cove? A ship with English colors. I don't know if that's good or bad. Probably bad. But I'm scared. Hi. You're a good man, Edward. Thank you. And if you learn to keep settled in one place for more than a week, you'll make a fine father, too. Thank you, Anne. Appreciate it. And you'll make a fine mother, in time, once you settle down. Am I going to sing? Come on, Edward, sing. Sing, please. Aww. Oh. Okay, seriously, I just finished. My face just dried up. Don't make it wet again. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that's Caroline! Caroline's coming! Isn't it? <gasps> Jenny! Oh my god, Jenny! Oh my god. Oh wow! And it ends right there. I don't even know what to say right now. I'm like, I'm an emotional wreck. Oh my god. But Woods is still alive. Oh, look at little Jenny sitting there. Hello, quartermaster. Oh my god. But Woods Rogers is still alive. He didn't really die any time. He didn't die around 1722, though, I'm pretty sure. He went to live on a long time. And he died of illness anyway, I'm pretty sure. But, oh my god. <laughs> I have not cried this hard at the ending of an Assassin's Creed game ever. The last time I even cried at the ending of an Assassin's Creed game was at the end of Revelations. When uh, Ezio was giving that speech to Desmond. But the combination of Anne Bonnie singing, and I'm betting Caroline is dead. If she wasn't, she'd Father, be here. Did you always know how to sail a boat? Just about. The Jackdaw is a ship, Jenny. Not a boat. <laughs> but did you always know? No. No, I learned after leaving this. <laughs> after you left I her. never met Tessa. Well, I didn't leave your... I didn't leave without saying goodbye, that is. It was an arrangement, you see, between your mother and me. She said you left her. She said you always oh, wanted to sail a boat and making money in the new world. I did always want to sail a ship. That's true. But not for dolphins. long. To support us. To take care of her. And you. Not me. Mother said you didn't know about I, well, I, I did, but Edward didn't. Once a year, and that she never knew where to find you. It's all true, and I'm sorry for that. If I'd known earlier, I might have come home. I hope that I would have. Well, you were busy. That's what I was I very busy, Jenny. Yes. I was, but that wouldn't have mattered. Can I see your boat? Oh, boat. I see no boat here. <laughs> I mean, shit. Nerdiest laugh ever. I don't see the difference anyway. Oh, you will. Ah, it's a very simple one, Jenny. A ship can carry a boat, but a boat cannot carry a ship. And Why you're in my boat, Jenny. Everything is a ship. I'll carry Large you. And small, but for my toy boat, the one I take into the bath with me. <laughs> That's a clever way of seeing it. Let her steer it. Come on. Let go of the wheel, Edward. Is it hard to talk about Caroline, Jenny? About your mother? Mm, no. She passed some years yeah. ago. I miss her, but it's all right. Was she in pain? No. I don't know. I don't think so. She was very happy for quite some time. Then, not so happy. I didn't see her much after that. Then she was gone. Mm. I. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I wasn't there for you. It's all right. You're here now, and we're on an adventure. Yes, we are. Uh, only a little one, I hope. I can't handle too many more surprises. You think we'll see a whale? Yes, there's a very good chance. Hmm. And what about pirates? Will I see pirates? No. Not much chance of that, I think. Oh, that's rather sad. I should have liked to have seen one. <laughs> Elizabeth Swan over here. Tell you what, Jenny. As soon as these winds die a little, I'll let you steer the jackdaw. One little trick of the helm before sundown. Yay! <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, I missed the whale. God damn it. I saw it up there in the top left corner. Oh my god, so many feels. <gasps> oh, I know what this is. I know what this is. This is what Hatham was talking about at the beginning of AC3. When he said his father brought him to see the play as a child. And in the play, they mentioned the bird, the jackdaw. Oh my fucking god. I'm here with Hatham. Who's that? Oh, that's me! And that's Tessa! <clears throat> Miss Jennifer Kelly. Oh, that's Jenny. May I introduce myself? Jennifer Scott, if you please. I'm sorry. I... I... Uh, my daughter was raised by her mother, Caroline, until she passed away some years ago. Jenny prefers to use her surname to mine. Ah, please forgive my ignorance. I will. She may not. Father, help oh me. Oh my god! This little rascal, however, <gasps> is a <laughs> Look at him! What's wrong, Hayfin? I can't see the stage. Up we go. Oh, Jesus. Fine. But won't your arms tire? Hey, I'm not so old as that. But if they do, <gasps> then we shall quit this posh gig and go and meet your mother for some chocolate and whites. How's that sound? Yes, please. Okay, hush now. Though he remembers little of it. He does remember that they were there. Saw that one coming. <laughs> I kind of did. Oh my god. This ties up so well. And now I definitely have to reforsake it. So I'm going to turn down the music a little bit. So it doesn't overcome my thought process. And I'm going to do what I always do. And give my final input of the game. Easily. One of my favorite Assassin's Creed games ever. I'm actually struggling to figure out which one I like better, this one or Assassin's Creed 2. It is extremely close. Like, oh my freaking god. I enjoyed that story so much. I loved Edward's character growth and what he turned into. The ending made me cry my eyes out, which is definitely bonus points to Yubi and Darby McDevitt. Oh my god, wow. I am extremely sad that it's over, though. Like, I swear to God, I don't want it to be over. I... D it's freaking horrible that it's over. I am extremely sad that it's over. And you can bet your ass I'm going to be playing it again. Because this story is fantastic. And I will be continuing open-world shenanigans, um, doing lots of assassination contracts, and open world open sea stuff and cities and stuff and probably going back to Havana and oh, it's just gonna be awesome this game was fantastic nothing that I didn't like about it except maybe those naval missions where you had to search for the ship in the fog I believe there was one where you were searching for Thatch uh, Alan the Queen Queen Anne's Revenge and there was one where you're searching for Horn of Gold aboard the Benjamin those were annoying <laughs> very annoying so I hope those don't make a comeback but and also that one boat glitch I encountered in part five of my let's play i think um with the spanish treasure fleet where i was literally inside the ship <laughs> i hope they fix that there was an update to this game however that i downloaded so hopefully they fixed some bugs i bet it was mostly multiplayer though but even so leaps and bounds better than assassin's creed 3 in terms of gameplay assassin's creed 3 story was fantastic i absolutely loved ac3 story but the gameplay, as I said, was not as was not as parkour friendly as this one was. wasn't as really stealth friendly either. So this was leaps and bounds better in terms of gameplay and overall level design and stuff like that. But their stories, I love the Kenways. Hatham's a bad guy, but he's still a fantastic character. And the people who came up with the Kenway line and wrote their stories, Darby McDevitt and all the other writers and character development crews and teams and stuff like that you guys did a phenomenal job and i'm definitely gonna read forsaken to find out what happened to jenny and uh yeah i loved that ending it made me cry uh and it was fantastic i am so upset that i beat it i am so upset that i beat it i don't want it to end and you can bet I'll be doing a Let's Play of Assassin's Creed Liberation HD on Xbox Live. And I will also be doing a Let's Play of the Freedom Cry DLC once it comes out. Which I think is... I don't know if they announced a release date. Have they released a release date? If so, I forget. I will say the one thing I do regret about this game was, surprisingly enough, reading that book before.
beforehand. Because it made events like Blackbeard's death and Mary Reed's death and a bunch, of, like, a bunch of the other historical events that we encountered in this game. It made them... It made me expect them because I knew they were coming because I read the book. And I also do regret that Sam Bellamy isn't in this in any way whatsoever. They, like, don't even mention him at all. He was a very interesting character in the book, at least to me. And it was really sad reading about his ship, the Wida, crashing um, on the East Coast somewhere. And uh, I do wish he was in this game. I don't know how they would have incorporated him in any way. I could probably read my book and figure that out for myself. But I also do regret reading that book. Because if, if I hadn't read that book, I wouldn't have probably even known who Sam Bellamy was. I wouldn't be expecting things and then forgetting things and being like, Oh yeah, that happened! You know, which kind of... It took away a lot of the surprise in the game. Not a lot of it, but some of it. So, I do kind of wish I hadn't read that book beforehand. But it was... I mean, being a history freak, I couldn't help myself at the time. God, just everything about... Everything about this entire franchise. The stories, the history, the gameplay, the parkour could be a little bit better just because sometimes, you know, you want to run around a corner and he'll run up the roof instead or something like that. Could be updated a little bit and the combat's still pretty simple, however more difficult than in AC3 in my opinion. Um, yeah, I freaking loved this game. It was fantastic and I'm ranting going on forever. AC Initiates testers. <laughs> oh. Also, I love how it ties into Initiates. I have some challenges I can do on Initiates now, and oh my god. This is my favorite track on the soundtrack. This is my favorite song. And it's not even on the soundtrack. I had to go online and find it. This is that track that I would always, like, in the middle of open world shenanigans or something like that, running around Kingston or Nassau, and also then hear it and go, oh my god, I want to die, this music's amazing. That's this track. I just love this music. The music, the world, the history, the characters, the story all together. Oh my god. This... This franchise was made for me. Like, and made for a whole lot of other people as well. I mean, obviously, duh, no shit. But, oh my god. Everything about this game, I absolutely love. I just wish it wouldn't get as much hate as it does. From people who either say it's too similar and not making enough changes, or that say it's treading too far from its roots, which are both two completely different things, which obviously mean that they're, they're opinions and in no way fact whatsoever, but I just, I wish they wouldn't hate on it so much because clearly Ubisoft puts a whole lot of work into these games. Regardless of how often they come out, they take several years to make these games, and they make them for no other reason than to entertain us. And I would think they deserve a little bit more gratitude than what's given by the majority of the angry gaming community. And... Uh, Matt Ryan. Okay, I have to look at these names now. Oh, this music is amazing! <gasps> oh, the die. This game... Uh, oh my gosh, this game. I can't even think of an adjective. Like, if someone said if I could sum up this in one word, I wouldn't be able to pick a word. Because words like amazing, phenomenal, fantastic, great are not enough. This game is everything that I ever wanted in an Assassin's Creed game. And Sean and Rebecca were just kind of there. Like, we never got Desmond out. But that might be in the next game. Since we're technically still the same character in present day as we are here, so that might, will, most definitely, continue into the next, uh, into the next installment of the series. And Ubisoft has also said that they have an ending planned out for this franchise. And all I can say about that is, two things actually, it better be a very satisfying ending, and it better be not anytime soon. Because if the game's following Black Flag come out and are as good as this, I don't ever want it to end. The historical lore is enough of a reason for me to get these games. Despite the story being amazing and entertaining and the open world just being able to run around and do whatever is extremely rewarding. 
these uh, these games just better not ever end and I'm going on forever and ever and ever but I'm just I'm trying to talk through the credits so because like I said when I got to the credits of Red Dead Redemption and Red Dead Shenanigans episode one if I play through a game that I thoroughly enjoy I feel like I owe it to the developers who worked really hard to make this game for me and for many others to watch the credits and give them you know they worked hard on it you know they probably they're probably really excited when they come up and they're like oh there's my name in the credits you know probably not especially the more experienced developers but still i feel like i i owe it to them at least to watch all of the credits so i'm gonna sit here and do that right now and in the meantime i'm just trying to talk through everything and just try and give you know a more just try to give a fair input but i'm not doing enough in my opinion i don't i'm so sad this game is over I'm very sad this game is over. I even said it today, I was like, you should probably play more Black Flag. But I don't want to. Because then that means it's over. I know I'm in like sequence 12 or 13 or whatever. And that's like the end. And I don't want it to I don't, I don't want it to end. And I was like, well, you know what? You gotta finish it sometime. Sooner rather than never. Because now you can move on to Let's Plays of some more other games. And get ready for the Freedom Cry DLC. And do some more multiplayer commentaries. And get ready for Liberation, which comes out in just over a month oh my god oh my god that's all I can literally say about this is oh my god last time I cried that hard at the ending of a video game was actually Walking Dead episode 5 which I cried like five times worse than what I did here but still that was the last time I cried at the ending of a video game and although I was sad at the end of Outlast I didn't cry and although I was kind of sad that Desmond died at the end of Esmond, uh, Esmond 3, Assassin's Creed 3, I didn't cry because it was kind of a detached ending. Like, it was all cutscenes, and you're just kind of sitting there watching everything happen. And yet, this was kind of a detached ending, too. I mean, it was a cutscene, but it was put together so well with Anne singing and Jenny coming off the boat, and I give her some flowers, and oh my god. It was just, it completely just... People were plucking at my heartstrings in my chest could have just ripped the damn thing out oh my god it oh my gosh and then seeing little Haytham at the grand theater oh my god it was fantastic it was amazing oh my god just the way it all tied together to what already existed in the Assassin's Creed lore be it in a book like AC Forsaken or in the previous games I even mentioned Altair <laughs> It was a very satisfying ending. The credits did kind of pop up out of nowhere still, but I feel like it wasn't like the ending to AC3 where it was like Desmond died, okay, now what next? I feel like I'm ready to wait a little bit for the next game. Not meaning Liberation. I mean, Liberation has existed for the last year. I'm only just now getting to play it because I never owned a Vita. But in terms of the next major console, PC, next-gen installment, of Assassin's Creed, Assassin's Creed 5, whatever it is. I feel like I can wait. I'm extremely excited to see it, but... I'm gonna be turning off my capture, getting up from the couch, and walking back over to edit. And I'm gonna feel good about the way it ended. It was a fantastic ending. And Ashraf Ismail... Pretty sure you're not developing Assassin's Creed 5 because you were busy developing Assassin's Creed 4 <laughs> while they were working on AC5 and 6, I think, at the time. But I I really hope that you make another one. Ashraf and Darby and Corey May and all of you. I swear, I hope you guys make another AC. Because I would love another game like this one with a story as good as this one, and with an open world as ambitious as this one. To the point where it was ambitious and didn't bite off more than it could chew, kind of like Assassin's Creed 3. Because I believe it was a next-gen engine on current-gen systems, so there was a lot of bugs. Not a whole lot that I encountered personally, and then those that I did were minor, that I just kind of dismissed because all games have minor bugs. And, uh, yeah. I fucking loved this game! And... Assassin's Creed 5 better be as good 
if not better. And I think, I forget the name of the person, I feel terrible that I forgot the name of the person, but whoever it was that worked on Assassin's Creed 2's, like, overall story and stuff like that, is working on AC5, according to the rumors. So, yeah, I have a feeling it's gonna be just as good, if not better. And, <laughs> I wanna say more! I wanna say more about this game, I wanna keep ranting about it, but you guys are probably getting sick of hearing my voice, but I don't feel like I'm doing this game justice with my words. Because this game was fantastic. With Anne Bonny, and Blackbeard, and Charles Vane, and Woods Rogers, and Governor Torres, and the Observatory, and all that stuff. Ugh, it was amazing. It was more than I could have hoped for. It was more than I was asking for. And it showed promise straight from the beginning. But... <laughs> it just didn't show enough promise, according to the final product, at least in my opinion. So, out of 10, I would give this game probably a 9. 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10! And this, I believe, is a very strong contender for Game of the Year. If this doesn't win Game of the Year, um, my next hope would probably be either Tomb Raider or... I would have to say Bioshock Infinite because I haven't beaten Last of Us yet, so I can't say. But, um, yeah, those are probably my top three picks. But my nose is still stuffy. <laughs> my face has officially dried off, though. That was... Oh my god, I'm replaying that ending in my head. Just seeing little Jenny sitting next to me while Edward was at the helm was amazing. It... Oh my god! <sighs> I'm repeating myself so much, but I'm trying to keep talking while the credits roll. And these are a lot of credits. I thought we were at the end, but we weren't. <sighs> just... Oh, man. It opened nicely, it closed nicely, and I feel extremely satisfied with how everything panned out. And if you were disappointed by this game, it's probably because you were expecting way too much. Just saying. You were expecting God's gift to mankind, and instead you got a product that was made by human beings. So, congratulations. <laughs> but I mean, I, I get super excited for these games when they come out. Like, I seriously, I'm bouncing off the walls when a new one's announced. <laughs> but... I have enough self-control to not expect the world from it. You know, just to expect the basics, and then be pleasantly surprised, instead of expecting way too much and then playing the game and being disappointed. No real pirates were harmed in the making of this game. <laughs> Alright, nice touch, Yubi. And, uh, hold on a minute. Let's see if I have any um, objectives on my map, like I did at the end of AC3. I probably don't, but we're gonna check anyway. This thought just now occurred to me. So we're gonna sit here and wait. I am so fucking sad this game is over. I've never been so upset that I finished a good game. Like, I didn't want to play today. Simply because I knew I was gonna beat it. And I didn't want to. Holy crapping crappy. Oh yeah, I didn't find any of those Stellas. I've got a lot of those to find. And I've got legendary ships and sharks and... This is all easy territory, except this stuff. And lots of assassin stuff. Templar hunts. Lots of storiness. That's Havana. This is Kingston, I think. Well, Jamaica. <coughs> Cuba. I don't remember where Nassau is. I feel terrible. I don't remember where Nassau is. <coughs> Pardon me. Wait. I feel like I might be completely wrong. I don't know, shut up! <laughs> I need to learn the layout of this map better. But, yeah. So, let's see here. Any... Great Inagua. We're back at Great Inagua. Why didn't that song from Anne Bonnie come with the soundtrack? I really wish it did. But, anyway, I'm gonna stop talking, because I've been talking forever while words appeared on the screen. And, um... Congratulations, you finished the game. New relic, portrait, emblem, and title unlocked for the multiplayer. I DON'T LIKE SEEING THOSE WORDS! You finished the game. 
I don't like seeing those words. I am very sad to see those words. This was a story I hoped would never end, even though I knew it would end eventually, and I'm very sad that it is now over. But I am going to shut the hell up now, because you guys are probably sick of hearing my voice. And time to do the outro, so. I sincerely hope you guys enjoyed this Let's Play as much as I did. Oh my god, it was fantastic. Leave a like and favorite if you did. Subscribe if you want to see my Let's Play of the Freedom Cry DLC and Assassin's Creed Liberation HD and Assassin's Creed 5 when that comes out, probably being announced within the next maybe f five or six months. And I will see you guys in my next video. I don't want to say it. I don't want to say it. I don't want to say it. Oh, I'm going to say it. A fair good morrow to you, my friends. Farewell.